Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. My name is Gisela, and I will be the host for today's webinar. Before I pass it over to our speaker, let me go over a few housekeeping items. At the bottom of your screen, you will find multiple application engagement tools. You can adjust their size and position to optimize your computer screen. To expand your presentation area or maximize it to full screen, simply click to the arrows in the top right corner. If you have any audio or video issues, you can find answers to some common technical questions located in the help widget at the bottom of your screen. Please note that the copy of today's slide deck and additional resources are available in the resources list. Please have a look and download everything that you may find useful. Also, this webinar will be recorded and sent via the email you registered with. Lastly, if you have any questions during the presentation, you can submit them through the Q&A widget. We are here to answer you live via the chat throughout the presentation, so don't hesitate to reach out. In case we run out of time or we didn't manage to answer your questions, we will make sure to follow up later by email. And with that, I will pass it over to Suzanne. Thank you, Gisela. Welcome to all of you. Before we get started, I'd like to review the purpose of today's session. Many companies developing software try to manage requirements using a combination of Word and JIRA alone. And for all the effort that goes into documenting requirements, the results often fall short. And this can be in the form of frequent rework, missed deadlines, slower rollouts, and overall poor quality. In today's webinar, we will address these challenges and I'll show you how Java Connect can be used to improve development outcomes. As we get started, I'd like to review the agenda for today. So first, we'll start off with a brief introduction of myself as well as my company, JAMA Software. Next, we will review the challenges of using Word and JIRA alone for managing requirements. For each of the challenges raised, I'll show you how JAMA Connect can solve the challenge and improve the outcome of your software development projects. I'll show you how to achieve live traceability with JAMA Connect. Live traceability ensures requirement coverage and allows you to easily identify exceptions. And what I mean by that, is missing upstream or downstream requirements so that you can close any gaps. We'll discuss the review process. Trying to manage reviews in Word is time consuming and prone to error. I'll show you how JAMA's Review Center significantly improves the efficiency of reviews for both your internal and external stakeholders. JIRA is used by many companies to manage their development tasks. Using JAMA's integration with JIRA, you'll get insight into development and avoid scope creep by making sure dev tasks tie back to requirements. I'll also cover how to use JAMA to understand the current state of your system, see why JIRA alone cannot be used for this purpose. And finally, change happens in software development. And in fact, agile principles support embracing change. With JAMA's impact analysis, you'll have the critical information to allow you to quickly react to change while reducing risk. So just a little bit about myself. I've spent more than 20 years in product development, primarily in a testing capacity as a principal test architect for various requirements and test management tools. I have experience in several phases of the software development lifecycle, including traceability of artifacts from requirements definition to implementation, verification, and validation. As a solutions architect here at JAMA, my role is to demonstrate the power of JAMA Connect and live traceability and I work with our clients through their JAMA trials to help them realize the value of requirements management as well as test management when done properly. And now just a little bit about JAMA software. We are the leaders in requirements management. Our purpose is to ensure that innovators succeed. We have years of industry specific experience. We've done thousands of client engagements. We provide best practices and pre-built frameworks to help teams manage their requirements with live traceability through the entire development lifecycle. Our clients benefit from faster speed to market, increased process efficiencies, and higher quality. We manage the compliance and risk management. It's done all in one product, and you have one single source of truth. Our JAMA Connect software and services help teams manage complex development in regulated industries, such as medical devices and life sciences, automotive, space, airborne and defense, 
as well as non-regulated industries like industrial manufacturing, finance, insurance, and software development. With that as a backdrop, jump into the main focus of today's webinar, the challenges of using Word and JIRA alone to try and manage requirements. So the first issue with using trying to use Word and JIRA alone is lack of traceability. Word is a flat file with no relationships between requirements. Any attempt at traceability is going to be manual, time-consuming, and prone to error. The next challenge is inefficient requirement reviews. Reviews with Word are also manual. Even though you may use the track changes feature in Word, reconciliation of changes from multiple stakeholders takes significant time. Managing participation and tracking feedback is also very difficult. The next challenge is little or no insight into development. Once you approve a BRD, a business requirements document, development will go off and it'll start to code, often with no feedback loop back to the requirements. There's often this kind of throw it over the wall approach. So we'll address that issue in today's call. No clear definition of system. The development work to be done is defined in JIRA. Once a development task is marked done, it's closed out. Changes that come along as part of new requirements or maybe because of a defect fix might actually invalidate previous completed tasks, leaving you with an incomplete view of the functionality of your current system. Inability to understand the impact of change. So change happens in software development. It comes from a variety of sources. If you don't have your requirements traced and connected to your development items, it's going to be extremely hard and likely impossible to accurately analyze the impact of change. So let's take each one of these one by one and dig in a bit further. So first, the first challenge, lack of traceability. Trying to manage requirements in a flat file like Word or Excel is just not enough. Manual traceability, it's resource intensive, it's prone to error and missing coverage, and you end up with a complete lack of visibility into development. So really, you never really know how far along you are in the project. Lack of traceability is the number one cause of negative project outcomes. So let's take a moment to show the desired level of traceability. This is the common V model in systems engineering. You define your customer needs in the upper left, decompose those needs into requirements until you get to the bottom of the V where implementation in it and integration takes place, while the right side shows verification and validation. Notice the cost to fix defects increases substantially the later in the life cycle the defect is discovered. This is 110 times more expensive assuming you find it at the validation time. For defects that escape even this and are not found until customer deployment, the cost is exponentially higher. So this V model is the goal. Capture the needs, trace them to well-defined requirements, make sure you've got no gaps in coverage or gaps in testing, and make sure the development tasks to fulfill the requirements are connected as well. But for teams using Word and JIRA, their V often looks like this. Notice all, all the red X's identifying broken coverage. So the customer needs may be captured in Word or some other document-based tool. Maybe there's an effort to break these down into requirements in Word or Excel, but then there's no connection between these. So there's really no way to make sure that every need is covered with a requirement. Perhaps at some point, the requirements are transferred from Word or Excel into JIRA in the form of user stories or some other development item. But again, there's no connection back to the requirements of the customer needs. So if your teams are siloed and lack good collaborative capabilities, you could wind up with implementations that end up failing your verification and worse, even your validation. So basically your team spent time built, building something that does not satisfy those customer needs. So JAMA solves this with something we call live traceability. Live traceability is really a digital thread through every level of development. So let, let's jump in and I'll show you a demo. 